And we're beginning right now at 11 with breaking news out of Portsmouth where a firefighter has been shot this evening. It happened just after 9 o'clock on Surrey Street, and that's where 10 on your side's Brett Hall is right now. Brett, what have you learned so far? Still quite a large scene, Tom and Anita, out here on Surrey Street in the Port Norfolk area as a firefighter, as you said, shot this evening, as well as another person. And it all started just after 9 for a downed wires call. Now, right now, we're going to show you how the scene is still being processed. We haven't pinpointed exactly where that downed wire occurred, but we can tell you Dominion Energy is also out here now. But a downed wire was called. Portsmouth Police, as I mean, Portsmouth Fire, that is, per protocol, came out. And upon arrival, uh, one of the fire units was shot by the suspect. One firefighter again taken the Norfolk General Hospital. We are not sure of their exact condition at this time. All we know is they are uh, stable. Another person was also shot, not a firefighter, also taken to the hospital. No word exactly on their condition. Now, a person was brought into custody actually just moments before you came to us. They were taken away in a police cruiser after being questioned. But a large scene out here that's going to be probably processed for several hours to come. I actually spoke with a woman who says it was her brother that was the non firefighter that was shot. She said it all started when a tree came down on her father's house that he's lived in here for more than 40 years in the Port Norfolk area. And she says at that point she doesn't know much else. All she knows is that her father's still trapped in the house. Uh, not sure how that tree came down. Not sure what preceded the shooting. Uh, she doesn't believe that they know the shooter. So a lot of details still to come. Make sure you stay with Wavy News 10 for the very latest on this story. We're live in Portsmouth tonight. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.